The technology that we faced was far superior than anything that we had. Biologics came with some of these recoveries. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to. The American people deserve to know what is happening in our skies. You're talking something that can go into space, go someplace, drop down in a matter of seconds, do whatever it wants, and leave, and there's nothing we can do about it. Nothing. Yes, you lot, what you're saying, in today's video we're going to be designing a UFO-inspired streetwear graphic. So, in light of a recent UFO buzz surrounding the US government's Congress hearings on possible alien evidence, I thought it'd be fun, and definitely nothing to do with the YouTube trending algorithm, to design a UFO-inspired streetwear graphic. So, starting with an A3 blank document, I imported this image of a UFO from Unsplash and then enlarged the image, selecting a preset colour adjustment using the warmth filter. Then using my razor brush on a hardness of zero, I started erasing the background using small light strokes at a time. I then applied an inner shadow using the blending options with a medium adjustment of noise to create some texture. Then importing the second image from Unsplash, I chose this alien image. It didn't matter too much that half his head was missing as we're going to erase the outside anyway. I then used the pen tool and created a selection of his face. Again, this didn't have to be perfect. Copying the same blending options as the UFO, I applied this inner shadow and noise filter. I then began softly erasing the outside of his head, I placed the alien's head behind my UFO layer and continued to erase half his face as I just thought he looked a little too invasive. Then using hue and saturation filter, I matched the colour of my alien to the same as the UFO. I placed the alien's face on the other side of my UFO as I decided I wanted this erased side of his face to be blending in with the rest of my graphic. I then imported this next image from Unsplash which would hopefully tie in the space and alien theme going on. I wasn't too happy with these reflections of the past image staying within the UFO so I used this light brush and dabbed in some surrounding blacks and blues. Next, I wanted to enhance the strength of this UFO's laser beam as I just thought there wasn't enough focus on it. So I created a similar shape using my pen tool and brushed lightly above the shape with the same colour to create a gradient overlay effect. Then switching the blending options of this to multiply I could create that gradual light effect. Now for the type elements of this graphic, I typed Invasion to go with my overall theme and kept the font in this basic and bold aerial black. Then using blending options, I applied a colour overlay and outer glow using the same colours as my UFO light beam. I think this lighting effect within the type looked pretty cool. I then added another type element saying extraterrestrial, which is a crazy word to spell, so best believe I was copy and pasting this. I selected the copper plate font for this as I thought it complemented the main type pretty well, and then decreased the size to become secondary to the main type. Then I discovered this image on Unsplash and I honestly thought it really transformed the graphic. I really loved this sort of silhouette background going on as I thought it would tie in my design really well. I pushed this image behind my layers to match a green colour adjustment off the others and I then changed the blending options for screen to erase that black background. Then copying and reflecting this image on the other side I was able to create this really cool composition within the graphic. I then applied this grainy texture using the multiply blending options of this image and lowered the opacity so it wasn't so hard hitting. Then jumping into the filter gallery I applied another grainy filter. Now for the magic finishing touches I took this image into the camera raw filter which I thought really transformed this graphic. I basically toggled the adjustments till I had this really cool glowing effect. Just to show you guys how significant the changes within the camera raw filter can be, here's my original image, and then here's the image once edited.
So, there we have it. There is my graphic to jump on the trending UFO algorithm. I mean, there's my alien-inspired streetwear graphic. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, it would mean the world if you could support me on my socials. I'm really trying to grow these at the minute. And for anyone who would like to purchase this graphic, you now can do on my new website. A video will be coming to explain this further very soon. Alright, take care guys, and try not to get abducted by any aliens in a bit.